We're having a bit of fun today because it's Tom's birthday. I won't say how old he is because I wouldn't want to put him through that. Anyway, inmates house life behind bars. No, not these bars, these bars. Really flying the flag for Denali today. So it's been about a year since I'd done a really good video for the KTM. So if you remember, about a year ago, I posted my own KTM Super Adventure S here on the channel when Hex literally just made that announcement about the new Easy Can. And over the past year, we've been installing loads of Easy Cans. We've sold loads of Easy Cans globally. But I thought I'd switch the camera on and get this one rolling because this guy has gone to town. And at first you think to yourself, Christmas tree, but I actually think this is really fit for purpose. And if you have a look at it, it reminds me a little bit of the Apache helicopter from one of the Rambo movies. Now, if you're familiar with the website, you literally just pick your bike on the selector at the top left-hand corner, depending if you're on a desktop computer or using your phone. But if you go to the filter and choose your bike, and then you go to a bike thing bundles, and once you're on there, you'll see all of the popular, the, the main Denali LED pods on there, and you choose your bundle from there. But from those bundles, you'll see your typical D4 bundle, D7 bundle, S4 bundle, then you can configure where you want those lights to be, where you want the sound bomb to be, whether you've got lower crash bars on your bike or not, depends on whether you can have the bike specific horn mount to go on your bike as well. But with this bike, we don't actually have a designated bundle on the website that this guy's had here. This is a case where he's got in touch like a lot of you do saying, I want the D7 bundle, but I want some D2s, or I want some S4s, or I want to do this or I want to do that. And that is when we converse with each other and I put together a specific basket for you on the website. So you just click on, go through, and you'll have everything you need to get all of that on your bike. So with this one, what's that? that one. What's that? I did that bundle. Okay, Tom's telling me, you just want to be on the video, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently Tom tells me, that's because I was on holiday. That's so, so unfair. <laughs> so, so, okay, I was on holiday um, driving around America and Canada and this customer got in touch with us. Thank you, Joshua. And uh, spoke to Tom and he actually put the basket together for the customer. I do apologize, I didn't think about you there, Tom. Ever so sorry. You have to put your head in now and just, just poke your head in. Just, just lean it in, lean it in, lean it in, yeah. It's okay. It's a bit close. <laughs> too close, too close. Too close. <laughs> too close, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 put our heads together. Yeah. <laughs> no, you haven't put me off, it's fine, it's all good. It's all good, it's all keeping the whole thing going. Oh, it's not recording. I'm joking. <laughs> So let me talk you through this bundle that this customer's had. I will put a link down below in the description so you can go straight through to the basket that this customer bought. Don't forget, with all Denali products, you get a five-year warranty. So that should give you plenty of reassurance that you are putting a brand on your bike that we can trust and rely on. So what we've done with this, well, we have done with this, the Royal We. So what we've done with this is because he wanted D7s on there, and he wants S4s, and he wants D2s. So that's six lights just on the front itself. Then he wants the sound bomb. So let me talk you through this. We kind of identified that the D7s, he didn't want them on as a running light. So very similar to my own BMW that I've got, I don't need my D7s on as a dipped DRL throughout the day. And I don't want them on for dipped even at nighttime because I've got other lights for that. I just want them at full beam. So we don't need to use two circuits on the Easy Can to run those D7s. We stick them onto one circuit. Now, if you're using a hex Easy Can with a hex wiring harness kit, we then advise you to pop a Y splitter into the shopping cart as well. So you can join those two circuits at the Easy Can. Now, over the years, you've seen me fit the Nile Can Smarts and Hex Easy Cans, and the only real main differences are the harnesses. Now with the Denali Can Smarts, you get harnesses where the Y splitters are at the front. Now, I believe they might be changing this going forwards because I have been speaking with them, but I don't know for sure. But the Y splitter at the front can be a bit of a pain in case we want to change anything. So the way I like to do installations, and believe me, we're doing installations every day of the week. So we're constantly refining our practices and the way we put these bundles together. So I like to use single harnesses, which we have on the website. We run that harness all the way back to the back. So we've got two harnesses coming from the D7, but because we want to run them on a single circuit, we're then going to plug in the Y splitter. 
So it brings them into, to, into one circuit and we plug it into one circuit on the EasyCan, taking up just one circuit. Now the S4s, he wants the functionality. So when he indicates, he wants the left and right S4 to go off on the respective side when he turns, when he indicates. So they have to go onto two circuits. The D2s, we set these up as indicators with a DRL. So he wants them on all the time as an amber DRL. So they're set up as indicators. They also are gonna take up two circuits. So if you think about it, D7s on one circuit, S4s on two circuits, we've gone to three now. And then D2s on a further two circuits, we're onto five circuits. And then we've got the sound bomb on a sixth circuit. That's a total of six circuits that we've put on the customer's bike. Which means we need two easy cans because the easy can only has four circuits per easy can. So we, we've got the easy cans, we put them on, we daisy chain them together using the hex easy can splitter cable. Now, please note this hex easy can splitter cable isn't required for BMWs, only required for the, the Honda. Uh, the KTM, obviously when you're watching this video in maybe 10 years time, things are gonna be changing and everything, but it's only required for the KTM and the Honda and the Harleys. Let's have a quick look around the bike and let us know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Now, not only that, he also wanted us to fit a tank bag on there. So we've got an SW Motec GS tank bag, which is quite funny because it's on a KTM. Uh, but it, it fits an absolute treat. If you remember, if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll put a link up above. I put together a video specifically for this bike for the SW Motec tank bag range and the GS bag fits it better than it fits a GS. So take a look at that. So he wanted that bag on there. He also wanted the Peak Design motorcycle bar mount with the damper on there. So we fitted that. The customer said he's never going to be using the Peak Design mount with the tank bag at the same time. So as you can see, there's a bit of a conflict when the tank bag is on there and the phone case is in place as well. But when the tank bag's off there, it's a fantastic solution where you can see it. And uh, we use Tom as a model sitting on the bike and you can see as he's sitting on there, where the screen is in landscape mode, it's not getting in the way of the main KTM TFT screen and the Garmin that this customer's got on his bike. Oh yeah, and uh, just to finish it off, he also wanted a size stand on there as well. And that's why SW Motec as, as well, and we've got that on the website. So always try to keep these in stock as we can. If it says it's in stock, it's in stock. If it's not, it's arriving shortly. Also want to show you under the seat exactly how Tom has put this together. See, I mentioned you this time. You see, I didn't say it was me. So as you can see, the, the, the customers was quite um, persistent about saying, I, I still want to have my tool bag in here. Cause when it came in, we said, look, you've got two easy cans going on there. So a lot of wires are gonna be under your seat. We might not be able to get your tool bag in there, but Tom worked his magic and we've got the tool bag in there. And obviously when we take the tool bag out, you can see the second easy can that's there. So if you want to do anything like this to your bike, if you want to strip your bike down and fit a load of gear on there and put it back together again, we do a video on the website. I'll put a link up above for that one as well. So you can see exactly how to take the 1290 Super Adventure S apart and put it back together again. We're here to help you. We're here to sell you great products and to help you get it on your bike. And not only that, we offer a fantastic customer service. Our trust pilot goes to prove that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe behind bars and I'll see you in the next video. Right, we're trying something a bit different here. So the customer's just told me, so the customer for the KTM, yeah, he's just uh, contacted me saying he's half an hour away. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if you look at this rack behind the camera, so I'll just turn the camera around, that rack just there. I'm literally just gonna put this camera right into here so you can capture the customer coming in because as I'm, oh, as I'm looking at the, uh, the bike, I can't see the camera, so I'll make sure the screen can't be seen, so there's no light coming. It just looks like the camera's been put on the shelf. But I'm gonna record, I'm gonna have this recording as he walks in, so you can get his absolute first reaction. I promise you, I swear I have not told him I'm recording this, and then you'll only get to see this if um, I get his permission afterwards that I can have him on camera. Um, so, yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, I'll turn it off now and I'll quickly run over and turn it back on again just before he gets here. And I'll put the microphone somewhere over near the bike so you pick up all the, all the right reactions. Okay. Okay, the microphone's down here on my, on my T-shirt hanging down low. It's all recording. Okay. Evening. Come on in. Okay, you're right. 
Yeah, how are you? You alright? Oh. There it is! Where's the birthday boy? He's gone home. Oh. Early, <laughs> early, <laughs> early finish. Because he, well, because we were, we've been a man down. Right. Okay. Um, he's been like in here like 6.30, 7 in the morning trying to do a lot of work. Class. Oh. You think then? Better than I thought, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it took, it took some, it, it, it was a lot of work because obviously it's a lot, lot of stuff. Of course, yeah, on. yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah? Can't wait so, to see it in the dark. So if I show you right now, why don't you? Yeah. So if I show you underneath here then. So one easy can there, wow. and then the other easy can's down there. Wow, you wouldn't even know, would you? No, so you brilliant. Get to you yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Wicked. Yeah. Brilliant. So this is your iPhone 13 Pro, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, right. So a bit better. So I, had a, I had the quad lock. Have you had a gun actually put it on before? No, I haven't actually, no. Look at that! That's good. <laughs> you press the button at the back and you're all like, oh, so much, so much easier. Yeah. And there's no big horrible ridge as the quad lock. They, they, they sit oh. lovely in the pocket. So I got an email come through about the quad lock yesterday and I yeah. thought, no, nah, I'm going to bother. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what gave that. New so case. really nice case as well. They are. Well, don't forget, it's got a lifetime warranty on it. Has it? Yeah, wow. they're guaranteed for life. Oh, that's nice. I think it's quite a bold thing they can do because no one's going to keep the same case, are they? Because you're always updating our phones every couple of two or three years. Of course, yeah. 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 Oh, I do like that. Yeah. So I, I mounted this on a way, in a way where it's dead central. I tried to see if we could get rid of the arm, but you can't. Right, okay. Not unless you have a different size screw. That's, that's fine, yeah. So that's how we've done it, but obviously you can move this anywhere along the bar. Yeah. And um, you've got different inserts and we put, in, put them in your tank bag. Okay, already. yeah, we're good. So if you wanted to, you could adjust all this yeah, yeah, yeah. and put it somewhere else. Cool. So with the tank bag on as well, it all fits with it on there. Does it but, there yeah, yeah, but if you put your phone on there, then it conflicts with course, the back yeah. of it. Well, it's probably it's giving you quite a lot of um, excess there too, because that's how you release it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's wow. on there. Very so nice. you can still, if I put the weight down there, you can still, you still get full movement. That's good, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you had your phone on there, it would conflict with it. Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, that'll be mainly obviously for when I'm doing the GPS stuff, and then when I'm not using that, I can just chuck my phone on for, yeah. you know, whatever. Because obviously you've got to leave that on there now. Yeah, where you uh, need to get, I'll leave that on there, yeah. Right, so let's, let's power it on, and I can yeah. show you it all working. Remember myself, how to turn these on now. The keys there. The D7s right now, okay, so yeah. if I, if I, Got that, your decent ones come on as well, but you yeah. could the S4s that go from 30 to 100. So, <laughs> when we really indicate, you'll see I've got the S4 going off. Yeah, perfect. I like how it comes on slowly. That's nice. Like That's it. all part of the um, PWM, what Denali called the, the data dim, 2.0 like data dim. I like that. Yeah, one, two, three, and then you get your strobe. Right. And then, are you, are you okay with loud noises? Yeah. I thought I'd have warned you rather than just... We had, we had a courier driver coming earlier and he literally dropped the parcels. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell, really? Wow. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if they don't see me, they're definitely going to hear me coming. Yeah, my right. word. 